I in the ointment this Saturday afternoon. It is 2 11. It is Saturday, June 8th. And there is a fly in the ointment. Okay, this whole morning has started off with flies and ointment. Number one, I ran out of cigarettes. Number two, I couldn't find my half of blood to die. And I found, thank you, Lord, because I was not about to roll. I can't roll in the condition that I am bad as fuck. Okay, so. See, today would have been a much better day to have that damn marathon than today. I know that it ain't Lord, oh, Norian Ebony in Noda. <laughs> anyway, what am I trying to say? Alright. Number one, I ran out of cigarettes. Number two, I found out that my weed man is in jail. Why the fuck are you gonna break into so many cons? He got a four, almost four hundred thousand dollar bond. My God. We gotta go on another. We gotta go on another taste of cannabis. Starting Monday. In which, in which my, um, in which the lady in charge of Pussies R Us Incorporated Associates and them, she know the West Side, she know the South Side weed man, and his weed is is like tops. Honey, I would park it bad as loud because that, even though it don't. It's a very intense high. <laughs> Lord, but it made you do it. <laughs> so I gotta go through another taste of cannabis because my weed man is in jail. On a lot of breaking and entrance and breaking and entering of motor vehicles and all this bull and larceny after breaking and entering. <laughs> Lord, the white people done made such a mess for last night. Jesus Christ. I tell you, we had, it was muddy as F yesterday. And we was at Noda Brewery for our 5K. <sighs> Lord Jesus, that was a goddamn. I love it. <laughs> and I have my mom's racist, racist, racist tendencies because yesterday I did. Oh, let's wait. All right. We are homogeneously black on this on this bus. Alright. Okay, let's tell you. Honey, this late, this man in this song. I, I don't know the nomenclature of sobs, but damn it, it was a sob. He kept backing up. He almost hit me, so I hollered out. I don't know what y'all crackers speak, but y'all need to stop and go forward. Then the motherfucker kept going backwards, and I and I said, I will be driving your motherfucking sob, and you'll be on the number 23. Because he don't stay a no dot because he got no dot stickers all over the motherfucking place. <laughs> Child. <laughs> but Lord Jesus. Anyway. 
and the last thing, the major, the B and the white. The police was called to my house, Lord knows how long ago, on some fuck shit imposed by my cousin, my sister, and my mother. I love them all so dearly, and I hope nothing but the best. But sometimes they get on my goddamn nerves. Make me want to pop a molly and sweat. That's how bad it is. <laughs> Ain't nothing good like a, a good, good hot beer from last night. All right. Anyway, uh, uh, what did I tell you? <laughs> I had talk. This is what got me all, all up in a tizzy. I told my mother, I'm out of cigarettes. And so, I said, can I hold a tenner until the Monday? Because I put in my application, I put in my, I refile for unemployment on a Sunday when I'm supposed to do it every Tuesday. But best kept secret. <laughs> okay. So, my mother, my mother said she was probably going to give me a dollar in order to get three cigarettes. And so, I told her, do you know how many cigarettes I smoke within an hour? I smoke three to four cigarettes in an hour. If I'm pissed, if I'm visibly pissed, most people are not going to ask for a cigarette unless I actually know. But when I just look the way I am always perceived to be after, after the After the fall of the Spragian Empire, they come and ask for cigarettes. They come and ask for money. They come and ask for food. Look at that. Or drink. Yeah. My motherfucker. <laughs> one motherfucker, he come up to me one day. I don't know this motherfucker. He come up and ask me. Oh, yes, I, I, I. I said, nigga, when you talk to me, you talk to me in English. I don't know no. <laughs> God damn. Because these buses are. Anyway. Yeah, so I told him. You need to. Come, when you come to me, you're going to have to try again. You need to speak to me in English. I don't understand gibberish. I don't understand. I don't understand no other language except for English. The only thing I know in Spanish is puta, maricón, pendejo, and culo. 
Mierda. Oh yeah, I'm talking about the police. La policia es la mierda, and you're and you're talking to me like for real. <laughs> what I said was, police are full of s, a do. We do got children on the bus, enjoying their first day of freedom. For 94 days, I got to deal with badass champs, a heightened crime rate, and a drought of reefer. These high schoolers, they come out, they come out of school. First thing they want is an L. I already told you my my weed man is newly admitted, so now I gotta go all over the city and all over the county to get some to get some dosha. But I gotta do it. <laughs> You damn sure need, you know I won't be mean after, after the Chipotle interview, bitch. So, I, so, I, so, I started, so I started making a tornado out of my mother's food. Because if I was going to do a tornado in my room, Already having to undergo the aftermath of Hurricane LaShonda. For fuck's sake. This, this LaShonda has to be. This LaShonda must be one of those. One of those females who may never see a dick in her life again. If that ever happens, goddamn, we'll be Gucci. No more of her offspring. Yes. Preach. <sighs> Whew, that sun is moving down on me. Oh, yeah. So... Yeah, so what the deal is, bitch nigga, my cousin, all his fuck shit, I tell him, I tell him, as a part of my, of our housing parliament, uh, EM06 plan, which is the Emergency Secure, Securement of Fiduciaries Act of 20, of, of 2009. Any new people coming into the house who is who is employed full time, part time, whatever time must pay rent or occupancy fees. My aunt works at Carolina's Medical Center and she stays in Conover. She works Saturdays and Sundays. God damn! <laughs> Woo! Hallelujah! Woo! I am... <laughs> damn, bro. I am hot as hell and I am drunk as hell. God damn. <laughs> At 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, I got to tell Carmen about this. <laughs> Woo! Another knife fight with my please.
I need to get a blunt. And I said it right in front of the cute little white couple. The cute white couple. <laughs> I, I, ha I have yet to see a cute black couple over here because the old men and because the old people are already are already in it because most because most men they start to tone their their thuggish ruggish ways after after they turn 45 and old couples who have stayed together through thick and thin being 98 and 102 Bruh, it'll be gooch. <laughs> yeah. We'll keep you posted on this shit. I repeat, y'all, there is a fly in the ointment in Uptown Charlotte. We will we will return to you in when conditions warrant. For YouTube, I'm Lamar Blocker Throckmorton reporting live in Uptown Charlotte.